Hey everybody, <clears throat> hope you guys are doing alright. So, you know, I just, um, I don't believe in waste. Uh, it's just like things like death too. Like, I mean, in my opinion, energy, it, it doesn't die. It just transforms from one form <clears throat> to another. Now, um, the same thing goes with material fucking, you know, things. Um, and also like relationships, you know, things that memories, moments that happen in this world with people. Um, you know, it's your, I mean, you can look at it like it was wasteful, but <clears throat> that moment, that exchange, that whatever it is that happened between you and other people, like that all happened for a reason. You know, there's things in there in that moment, even if it didn't go well or things went complete shit, like there's, there's reasons for that. There's information there to, for you to learn and help you grow. And it is going to help you learn and help you grow that, but if you don't recognize it, then this is where things become mistakes. And when you do recognize it and learn and they become lessons, uh, but even if they're mistakes, like those mistakes need to be made in order for you to get to a certain point to where you want to start learning again. And this can take a very long time. It doesn't just happen over, you know, from one mistake or a couple of mistakes. Sometimes people can put themselves in a cycle of, of living that's perpetuating, you know, mistakes, you know, and you, you do that for as long as you fucking want to do it. And then this is how people can change from being a human being into other beings, I think. And then they're living a life that's essentially, that that's how you, I feel you become you know, evilness or whatever you want to call it. The, the resistance to love is, is by continuing to choose a trajectory that's about um, not learning from, from the love lessons that are here for us to all learn from and grow from if we want to and continuing to repel against that and going against that, like that energetically, that type of information is going to put you into a pipe of place and it's going to help you reincarnate again and again and again into a creature that is, you know, primi primarily dedicated. I think they can choose differently if they want to too, but primarily dedicated towards um, you know, spreading malevolence throughout the universe. And this is where, you know, you get your draconians or, you know, this is how I think they turned into that is somewhere along the line, they chose to continue to live a lifestyle and, and perpetuate a type of society that is literally all about domineering and uh, conquering <clears throat> and uh, going against love, not choosing to, you know, uh, try to heal things and help build things and create new things, but rather just to try to conquer, take over and then dominate and have control and power. And that's their currency. Um, and this is what they're trying. This is what they're trying to uh, turn human. Then they have. They, they aren't just trying. They have turned humanity to a greater or lesser degree, depending on who you are and where you are, into that. And this is where assimilation, you know, turning us into the Borgs, the food, the the, the changing of our DNA, the epigenetics, the, the the media, the information, all that shit, is in my opinion intended to turn us more into them giving them more power over us, you know, and, and, and separating us from our power from most highs or from love source, because we have a, human beings are born with souls. So we have, this is something that they don't have. That's why it is our most, our love is our, is our biggest and most powerful weapon. And it's also why like <clears throat> having a society that's in alignment with love, not just for yourself, but for everything is going to help add to the cosmic currency that will help us fight these people and ultimately be successful. But if we don't start choosing that way, then this is why I feel we're doomed. And it's also why I think some people can be a little too arrogant in underestimating the enemy, like thinking that they got it all figured out. Like just by exposing these, do you don't think these people know this? Like they're, they're, they're aware of the fact that the day that's going to come when they're being completely exposed, they've already thought of these things. So I'm sure that they have contingency plans upon contingency plans for when that day is going to happen and how they're going to counter that. And one of the obvious ways to me is by pulling out the supply chain. So this is why it's imperative that we help you know, develop a type of system that's able to counter and deal with a uh, uh, potential loss of the supply chain, or at least a large amount of the supply chain being taken out from us, um, because that's going to help create chaos. And especially if, if you did that in tandem with other things like, you know, insinuating riots and all sorts of other fucking weather, you know, weather anomalies, they have the ability to control the weather. Like if you use all these things at the same time, you could create one fucking hell of a catastrophe here in America or anywhere that, that they have these type of things in place to do so. Um, but by having a, you know, a supply chain, shelter, a security force, like a, a place for other people to go that is not controlled by these evil ones is um, really the best idea that I can come up with and is in regards to helping the collective counter and survive and thrive through this dark times that we're in. Um, but anyways, I got a little off tangent there. I just really wanted to share my opinions on the fact or my it's my truth that there is no waste and it's, it's, it's actually kind of factual because everything does just change into something else like if this like if there's a piece of plastic it may take a while but eventually that plastic is going to disintegrate and become part of the earth again so it's like it's going from one form to another it's not just evaporating or it's not like being used for anything like there was a purpose for that that bottle so like as long as there's a purpose and, and it's going somewhere 
then it's never wasted. Now there's more efficient ways to do things. This is why with our water consumption, like yes, all the water does get recycled, but we can <clears throat> be more efficient in our use of water. We can choose to ch use water in a way that doesn't contaminate it for generations. That it takes generations for it to recycle and cleanse itself because that's very inefficient. If you have too much inefficiencies and things will break down and that's there for a lesson for us to be like, to teach us that we need to take better care of our water. If we don't, we will lose the ability to have this much water. Um, but it's still never being wasted. Like that's still a lesson there that that is there for us to learn. You know, until we until we learn it, though, it's just mistakes. So we're essentially making a bunch of mistakes. But that's what it takes in order to learn the lessons. Is you have to you know essentially make mistakes. So, anyways, if that makes sense, I hope it I hope it did. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Y'all take care. Bye.